Gentlemen, this is Axan Rejax and this is episode 4 of the Let's Play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team. <laughs> At the time of this recording, I have still yet to post episode 2. <laughs> anyway, so I have no idea what I was doing. Alright, I'm using the wrong buttons. I'm a little messed up right now in my control scheme because I've pretty much been obsessively playing uh <laughs> Explore the Sky. Ah, they're all level E's. You know what that means? It me <laughs> it me it means that that uh Warren Maximilian has got to be like Two, bub, team bubble chew game, five rescue points, team bubble chew game. Take job, take job, take. Oops. The one thing that is a lot better about the sequels is that if you actually have a buddy. Like, see, the thing about this game is. All your buddies, like. Oops, Daisy. Like, all your buddies, like, for example, Mark. Every time I want him to come on an adventure, I have to like specifically. I have, you have to specifically go each time you play to make sure that you actually get that person. And in the sequels, you don't. Or at least I don't know about. Darkness and time. I haven't been playing those. I've been playing Sky, but I'm sure the mechanics are the same, pretty much. So, yeah, that's about that. But enough about that other game. Uh, let's get on with this game, and we're gonna go to a dungeon, also known as Mount Steel, with our buddy Josh. And here I go. Speed
Thank you for rescuing me. Here's your reward. 200 Poké. Okay. Peter's team received 200 Poké. Rescue Team Bulbachu gained 5 Rescue Points. Here's your reward. 100 Poké. Thank you for rescuing Ratata. Peter's team received 100 Poké. Team also received the item Gravel Rock 10. Your toolbox is full. The item was sent to storage. Rescue Team Bulbachu gained 5 Rescue Points. Thank you for rescuing me. Here's your reward, the promised Reviver Seed. Peter's team received the promised Reviver Seed. Your toolbox is full. The item was sent to storage. Rescue Team Bulbachu gained 5 Rescue Points. Congratulations! Team Bulbachu went up in rank from Normal to Bronze. Didn't we do good today? Let's call it a night and get some rest. Okay, see you tomorrow. Good morning, Peter. Peter? Gary? Huh, who was that? Oh, Caterpie, have you been? Please, please help my friend! I was playing with my friend Metapod, but Metapod got lost in the woods! He's still out there! Oh, I see, I see. That does sound bad. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Have no fear. We are here to save your chum Metapod. Hold on, Katsubi came to us for help. Yeah, you think you can do this rescue with your amateur level skills? What did you say? It doesn't matter who does the rescuing, see? The guy that does the rescuing gets to be the hero. Listen, Caterpie, how about we do this? How about you give the reward to the team that brings back your chum first? But I don't have any money! Oh, don't you worry about that, my little friend. I'm sure we can persuade your parents to reward us with interest afterwards. Gah, 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 gah. Oh, yeah. You can even join our team. That's an offer you can't refuse. When you join us, Caterpie, we'll let you be a big wheel in team meetings. Gah, 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 gah. That's the deal, Gary. The first to rescue wins. Come on, move! Let's get this done already. Don't worry, we'll save your friend first. Peter, let's get going. What? Well, what should I do? I don't have any money, and and I I don't want to join those meanies. Peter, help us! Evidently, I missed the mission at uh, Mount Steelite. This must be it. Metapod is lost somewhere in these woods. Gengar's gang should be there already. We need to hurry. Here we are in Sinister Woods. Woohoo! <laughs> I love it when that happens. So, oops, a daisy. And there I go, getting the control scheme between this game and Explore the Sky Computer. So anyway, today I'm going to actually randomly talk in this dungeon because I feel like every dungeon I I speed up and play music. So today I'm going to be sitting here and actually talking to this dungeon. Well, anyways, the week that this was recorded, which was the week of six or uh, June. <laughs> June. And see, I forgot to get my buddies. That's disappointing. Now I have to fight all by myself. So this is why I... This this just a little bothers me about the game. I guess I can talk about that for a little bit. Uh, <sighs> the fact that you have to get your buddies every time. 
you know, every time I want to have do a you do you do a mission, you have to, you know, go get your buddies and be like, hey buddies, we're gonna go fight. And they're like, okay. But anyway, on the week that the, actually on the Tuesday of the week that this was recorded, which is the week of the 13th, um, I was supposed to go on my trip to France. But then there was France, France, bleh, the French slash European air traffic controller strike. Putting acts in those plans. So then the other day, I was at Schlitterbahn Water Park in New Braunfels, Texas. And there's at that water park, there happens to be a small arcade. And I noticed that they had a Donkey Kong machine in there. And I thought that was really cool that they had a Donkey Kong machine. I mean, you know, Donkey Kong's like classic. And if only I'd... Yeah, so I was like, whoa, they have a donkey. Well, of course, next set, they also had a Miss Pac-Man and a Galaga, but the Galaga was out of order. But I really cared more about the Donkey Kong because, you know, I'm kind of like, I, as you know, uh, well, I guess that's not true. I mean, I've played a lot of games that aren't Nintendo games on my YouTubes, actually, if you think about it, because Minecraft isn't, uh, TF2 is, like, half the games aren't, but I like Nintendo. It's my favorite console gaming company. I prefer PC gaming, uh, honestly, over console gaming, but if I, when I game on a console, I obviously play Nintendo games because I like Nintendo games, like Mario and stuff like that. And this would be so great. And actually, what I wanted to talk about was I wanted to talk about, and you probably noticed, I kept checking the stats. For whatever reason, Zigzagoon needs, like, no experience to level up. So I really wish I'd brought brought him here. Actually, I named him Jan, so I'll call him by his name. Jan, uh, he, he didn't need a whole heck of a lot of experience points to get leveled up. And I was like, why is that happening? <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. No, come back, Gary! <laughs> no, Gary, get back here. So, yeah. This dungeon, not sped up and played music. Uh, I guess it actually... It, could turn out to be a good thing that he I I'm not sure if that's intentional or if it's like glitched for some reason but uh, also a couple times in the other dungeon uh, you saw him use pickup which uh, lets you pick up items and uh, honestly it was actually pretty useful here I'm gonna use quick attack if I and see there I go messing up the move combos because the Y button is the menu button in uh, Mystery Dun or Explorer on the DS ones, and I don't have, uh, and I'm, well, I'm used to playing on the DS ones because I played it for like all morning and up till now, which is basically all day. Um, so yeah, I make a couple mistakes, but here we are, exploring. So I guess I can take the time to say that if any of anyone who's actually made it this far obviously actually cares about this. So if you are in, if there are people who are interested in perhaps taking on a role to do some voice lines for the series, uh, I'm definitely interested, especially if you're a woman because I don't have a lot of women voice actors because most of my friends are guys unsurprisingly being a guy a lot of my friends are guys uh... yeah so but of course if you're a guy and you wanna have lines I'm cool with that too I just really would like to get some uh, <laughs> more people so uh... basically if you uh... wanna roll uh... send whoops send me some kind of just voice lines to x i am luigi x that's my youtube at gmail.com um and if you're tell me like how big of a role you want because there are roles that are like most of the main roles that are going to be like in every episode that take like 20 lines are like already filled obviously but like there are a lot of characters where they're like speak two lines or in an episode like and it'd be great to just have different voices so I don't have to keep using the same voices over and over again so uh... 
And here we are, and I probably should have looked up some more information about this dungeon, because I don't even know how tall it is right now, off the top of my head. And, uh, so I'm gonna do that right now. Okay, and I'm back after a somewhat lengthy interruption from my friend messaging me on Skype. I've returned to discover that there are 13 floors in this dungeon. That means we only have four more to go. I've also returned... Oh darn, out of PP for my set move. I might want to use one of my max elixirs if I still have them before I go and fight the boss then. And Gary grew level 13, which is always good to level up, right, you know. Uh oh, water gun. No, whooper. Die, whooper. Stop being happy. You have no arms. Come on. Caesar. Oh no, I don't have <laughs> Okay, we're gonna have to use quick attack. And use quick attack again. And now at this point, even though I come on, stupid bulbasaur. Anyway, so as you can see, actually I don't know if I messaged the did I mention this before or not, but when you clear floors any, uh, like, you know, it lowered, like, stats will go back to normal. So if you're by end of a floor, you don't really have to go look for a wonder tile. Would you look at that? Easiest floor ever. Just a nice straight shot. I love it when the dungeons spawn that easy. But of course, they don't, because, well, that would be too easy. Of course, there's also a lot of... Then I... Shotgun. Come on, Gary. I've been playing as the Bulbasaur so much. Stupid... No, Gary, stop trying to... Oh no, I fell asleep. Yeah, there's a really good IQ skill uh, that you get once you uh, raise the IQ. Uh, the IQ skill is like status checker and it basically means that the Pokemon will check the status of the other Pokemon before it uses a status move on it. So like, if Gary used, say, he'll learn Sleep Powder later, right? If the Pokemon's already asleep, he's not going to use Sleep Powder again. Uh, it's a very nice skill, and I guess this gives me a perfect opportunity to segue into talking about IQ. IQ is a feature in this game. Um, you go to your team menu, and of course there's tactics, but you have IQ. Basically, IQ skills are like things that they do. It's like, basically the more IQ, the more things you can do, like better things. So, right now he has item catch, you can catch items, course checker, which means he... This is an essential IQ skill. Meaning, he'll actually check the terrain to make sure that he's not going to hit something. If that wasn't there, he'd just like bam in the walls. Item Master means he can actually use items, I believe. And, uh, Exclusive Move User means he won't use any A button attacks. Which, you probably, you might, you probably don't want that on when you're just doing the dungeon, so you save PP, but you definitely want it on on the boss fight, because you don't want him using an A button attack on a boss. Because, <laughs> you know, bosses, you gotta get all those attacks in there, so. And there's our staircase. I'm gonna just ignore that guy. I really wish I brought my partner with me. Alright, so there are 13 floors. So I think right now, what I'm gonna do is hopefully I have a... Oh no. I seem to not have any, uh... Oh no, this is this bad. I seem to be in the lacking of... Any... Because I accidentally ate my max elixir when I didn't mean to, so I'd better find one. Or I'm pretty, uh, screwed. No, getting hungry. That's not good. So now, for now, I'm just gonna suffice with A button attacks because I really have not much of that. 
All right, we'll accept Hoot Hoot as a team member. Yes, and it doesn't matter, so I'm gonna name this one. Rick. Yes, Rick is okay. I have a new partner. I'm really hoping there's a max elixir in here somewhere. Uh oh. Now Gary's going all over the place. Now we gotta go, but we're dead. I'm pretty. Now let me check who to see how much he needs to get to next level. Yeah, see, he needs a lot. I don't know why. Uh, tell me there's a max elixir around here somewhere. Well, there's the stairs. But I really want a max elixir. <laughs> oh. I forgot to eat. Hunger. Yeah, it affects you. So eat apples. That makes hunger go away. It's actually, uh, yeah, it's what you got. When you walk around, it's, I don't know, like, but a, a specific amount of tiles, obviously. Well, this seems to be a bit problematic considering that there are no. There are no, uh. Max elixirs on this floor. I'm pretty big trouble right now. I used all my. I used all my power points. I can barely use an attack. I'll be lucky if I can even uh, if I don't lose this next boss fight. Because I was being a doofus. Tell me there's a- Wow, we came quite a ways into this forest. I wonder if Metapod is ahead. Hold it right there. You know who's going to get your Metapod first. We are. So, for you to go ahead. Well, we just can't let that happen. What? Hey, Gengar, why do you keep messing with us? Oh, we didn't tell you? Our aim is world domination. Caterpie's mama would give us a generous reward. And Caterpie will join us too. That brings us closer to our goal. <laughs> and for that, your lot is in the way. So, sorry to say, but your party is over right here and now. Say goodbye, Gary. Okay, and now we're in the boss fight. Now first things first, I'm going to set Gary to be the let's go together tactic. And now, oh apparently I don't have it set. Or did I just do it wrong? Is it, is it, no. Okay, yeah, I, I just messed up. Alright, so, since I have like no moves, I'm gonna use Thunder Wave and hopefully paralyze him. Now I'm gonna use Thunder Wave on you. Paralyze you too. And then I'm going to moves and use thunder wave on him as well <laughs> oh no they recovered from paralysis and use thunder wave on him oh no it didn't work oh no Oh, good. I say I'm going to 
try to use Thunder Wave again. Darn it. This ain't going too well. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna try a quick attack. Probably would have been out of the game. But... Let's see if I can take out Medichain. Nope. Alright, took out Medicham. I'm gonna focus my attention on Gengar now. Come on, Thunder Wave, paralyze him. Yes. Stop using Crowl, Gary. So I focus my attacks on him, so. Might as well just use an A button attack, it's gonna do the same amount of damage. All right, he's out. Now all that's left is to pick up uh, Ekans. The Thunder Wave. Don. All right, fine. Let's just take him out. Come on, he's got like no attack. Well, I'm in pretty bad shape right now. I gotta be careful here. Ooh, Gary threw an Orenberry at me. Nice work, Gary. <laughs> Good play, Gary. <laughs> That's what I love. That's what's great about the Adamtor ability. Is I'll do stuff like that sometimes. Come on, let's take him out. And we defeated him. Rick grew to level 7. Rick's HP went up a little bit. Ow, 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 ow. Uh, you pay for this. Don't you forget it. No one should hold us back there, let's find Metapod. Um, excuse me. Did you maybe come looking for me? You must be Metapod. Let's get you home. Caterpie was worried about you. Yay! I was scared, so I kept my shell hardened. And waited. And waited. Thank you. This is great! Welcome back, Metapod! Thank you, Caterpie. And thank you, Gary and Peter! But I don't have any money! Oh no, we don't need a reward. We're happy to see Metapod is back safe and sound. Cool! You're even more cool than I thought! I want to go on rescue teams when I grow up! Ha ha ha, that would be great! Chase that dream! I have an idea! Peter, we should do something amazing with this place! We should make it a proper rescue team base here! Something impressive, mate! That's cool! A rescue team base is cool! I wanna work here when I grow up! Me too, me too! Ha! That's what we'll do! Let's work hard and build our own rescue team base! Peter and Gary, thank you again. Okay, bye. Be careful going home. <sighs> well, we ended up working for free, but that was the right thing to do. And we've got to show Gengar's team a thing or two, so it's all good. That was a tiring day. Let's go do some more good tomorrow. See ya! Okay, so it's time to end this video off here, gentlemen, so I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.